Hi everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about DNS and domain names and how it works. So I think we are ready to get our first website onto the internet. For that, we need a web server. So today we're going to talk about how to set up our simple website in DigitalOcean. So I recommend DigitalOcean because it's simple, easy and not very expensive. Anyone can get started with DigitalOcean. I will link the affiliate link in the description so that you know if you sign up you will get something i will get something something like that i'm not sure how much but please do check it out so our goal is to get a simple website into digital ocean first of all we need to launch a virtual machine in digital ocean and then we're going to install and configure nginx in it and then we're going to point the domain name uh, to our new virtual machine all right let's get started so i'm in the digital oceans interface so once you are logged into digital ocean you can click on this you can create a project if you want so i have created a new project called devops here and uh, right now we are trying to create a new virtual machine or as DigitalOcean calls it a droplet so you click on create and uh, droplets so i'm just going to keep using ubuntu 20.04 and i'm going to use a shared cpu here because i'm going to be using it for demonstration purposes and the performance is not my main concern at this point and i'm going to choose the cheapest one obviously <laughs> so this one comes around at five dollars per month and i don't need a block storage here uh, so i'm not going to add one so at this point we need to choose which data center we need in our uh, digital ocean droplets to be so usually you choose this one that is closest to you so i'm just going to choose bangalore we're not going to worry about the vpc networks now um, you know don't worry about ipv6 or anything so for authentication obviously we're going to use ssh keys do not use password unless you really know what you're doing so at this point if you do not have an ssh key created i think you should go back and watch the videos where we are talk you know where we talk about creating an ssh key and once you have created that you can click on new ssh and now paste your key here i have already added a key here so uh, i'm not going to do that so here we just need one droplet so i'm just going to keep it one and uh, we need to choose a host name so i'm just going to say devops demo or uh, let's say demo.devopswork.com so you can use tags to categorize your resources but i'm just gonna you know, leave it blank for now and since this is a test vm i'm not gonna enable backups so just click on create droplet so your first virtual server will be up and running in a moment all right so our droplet is up and running right now so i'm just gonna copy the ip address here so i'm just gonna log in directly using root ssh root at the ip address remember i'm able to log in because i have configured the ssh key all right so we are in so the first thing that we need to do is apt to get update so that it updates the index for the repositories and then i'm gonna install nginx directly I'm not going to talk much about it because we already talked a lot about nginx in the previous video if you feel lost in configuring nginx just go ahead and watch the video again all right to recap so i just did apt install nginx you can also do apt get install nginx also both works fine okay so we have installed nginx now let me just check if nginx is started by default it is started by default let's let's take a look at the ip address let's try visiting the ip address and see what happens so now i can copy the ip address here ip address from here directly but what if you don't remember the ip address and uh, you want to quickly get the ip address from the virtual machine itself if you do this you can uh, you know in, in the case of digital ocean you can get the ip address from here but if you are using private you know vpc networks you probably won't be able to see the public ip here so in that case you can do curl ifconfig.co and uh, it will show the ip address so let's visit the ip address and see what happens all right so 
it is showing the default web page. Welcome to Nginx. Let's just add a new server block and uh, create a custom default page. So for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and you know go go to seed etc nginx sites enabled. So you can see there is a default page already. So I'm just gonna create a new one called um, demo dot devops work dot com so because this is a server block we just need to give server in a curly brace open and close we need listen on port number 80 and uh, we need server name as demo dot devops work dot com and uh, root as for ww devops work dot com and what else oh yeah we need to do try files so that would be first try as a file itself then try as a directory and if none of it works just you know give it as 404 all right yeah we need to drop that in a location directive so that it is applicable to all the requests all right so that's pretty much it i think so i'm just exiting vim and uh, let me just verify that nginx configuration is all right nginx dash t okay it looks to be fine and uh, i'm just gonna reload nginx right so the next thing that we need to do is we need to point our dns to this ip address so we are back into cloudflare here remember from the previous video i am using cloudflare as the authoritative dns server now and uh, okay i it looks like i already have a record here i'm just going to remove that and i'm going to add a uh, demo .com. you can see that uh, you know it says demo.devopsorg.com and it should be pointing to this ip address now we don't want to proxy through cloudflare so i'm just going to disable that and save let's take a second and verify that it is actually resolving take all right so it is resolving i'm just going to do short here because i don't want to see all whole lot of information so yeah so it's already resolving now so let's see what happens if we do hmm interesting now i am not really sure why this didn't work so i thought like you know why don't i just go ahead and troubleshoot it and record it so that you guys can take a look at and uh, you know understand how it how we troubleshoot things like this so the first thing that i need to verify is that the domain itself actually resolves to the correct ip address and it does i'm just gonna go ahead and verify that once again so that you know i didn't make any mistake so yep it did not i did not make any mistake and it's correct so the next thing i need to check is is nginx is listening so i tried net start but it's not installed so i can install it using this so as you can see it's supposed to be listening on all the interfaces and uh, we have tried using netcat uh, in the previous video and made sure that the port is open and it is open but why is this not working but remember uh, so it is actually working in uh, you know if we type in the ip address so it looks to be something wrong with the configuration itself so it looks like the issue is because i didn't add the index directive so i'm just gonna give index.html here so the next one is i did not even create the directory so you know before even doing that let me just try to uh, access it now and see what happens nope 
refuse to connect the issue is because it is actually trying to connect to the HTTPS version of it now for some reason Google Chrome is not showing that correctly but you can see that if you click here it's actually trying to connect to HTTPS uh, colon uh, demo.devopsor.com that is because in the past I have uh, opened the website using HTTPS and now it's just uh, you know, defaulting back to that so if I remove that HTTPS yeah it, it works but still it's loading the default page all right so yeah we did not create the directory for it and uh, let's create an index file so I created a simple file let's see what happens now nope it's it's still not loading I'm just gonna try and do this you know you right click and inspect element I right click inspect element and go into the network tab and here you can disable the cache and if I do reload nope so it's nothing to do with cache so let us take a look at the demo.devopsor.com configuration again and I think I understand the issue you see it it's a missing semicolon so I missed a semicolon under after this index directive here so what happens is because I missed a semicolon and the next semicolon is here that means this index directive will take index.html root and uh, you know what www.devopsor.com as the index directives values that's why the nginx t did not show any configuration error or syntax error but it didn't work as we expected it to so i'm just going to give a semicolon and uh, let me reload nginx so if i do curl again 404 hmm. okay okay probably we, we did the path wrong so what i usually do is i just copy the root directory and uh, do an ls dash l to see if it actually exists and it doesn't exist that is probably because we created demo.devopsorg.com but in the configuration we are giving you know devopsorg.com so i just need to change that and uh, reload nginx again so if i open it and here we have the hello from demo.devopsorg.com so that's it for this video please leave a like if you like the video or a dislike is also fine if you really dislike the video and uh, see you in the next one